Oh, it's freezing here. Let's do our breath of joy to uh, warm me up. So feet hip width apart, toes straight ahead, sitting bones down, shoulders circling around a couple of times to release them up. And then reach the crown to the ceiling, get that core activated. Don't forget to breathe. And then inhale to the front, bring the arms out to the side, expanding your heart. Inhale all the way up, looking up, and then as you exhale, bend your knees, swoop down and say, ha. Ah. So three-part inhalation to the front, to the sides, to the top, and ha. Ah. So remember, this is coordinated. It does sometimes take a while to remember which direction you're going in. Breathing in and exhaling, and as fast or slow as you want to go. Breathing out up ha in out up ha one two three ha front side top ha couple more times ha ha and then back into mountain pose so take a moment a little more circulation going through you and hopefully warming you up. Spread your toes out. Sink evenly into both feet. Stretch up through the spine. Feel the core, let it work, energizing you. And don't forget to breathe. So we're gonna do the same thing again. See if you can do it breathing through your nose. So. The hop is through your mouth. The, rest, the inhalations are through your nose. Couple more times. And again, back in the mountain pose. Take a moment, breathe, stretch that spine apart, shoulders back and down, and focus on how that feels along your spine through your system. And then inhale, our regular warm up, arms out, hands to your heart, stretch to the front, and exhale, clasp the fingers behind you, press them down as you lift your heart, stretch your head back, pivot over as you exhale. Hands up, head down, move your chin around, and lift your sitting bones. And then slowly work your way up, lift your heart, and stretch your head back. Drop those shoulders, stretch the whole spine, lifting your heart. And inhale to the top, release your arms back to mountain pose and focus inward. And again, arms are reaching out. Keep those shoulders down, hands to your heart, stretch to the front, shoulders still down, and then clasp the opposite way behind you. So shift those fingers in one position over and then lift into your back bend as much as you'd like. Exhale, pivot at your hips, come on all the way over. Hands up, head down. And just circle your chin around, get that neck releasing a little bit more. Shoulder blades toward your waist, even in your forward position. And then knees slightly bent, come on back up. And another back bend, lifting your heart, dropping your shoulders and stretching your head away. Remember, don't lift your chin too much. You don't want to overwork the neck. Spread your toes, inhale back upright, release your arms, and just take an inventory how your system is working today. And side stretches next, so let's bring the arms out, palms toward the ceiling, hands above your shoulders, clasp them, bring your arms back by your ears, sitting bones down, crown high, stay facing the front, and lean to the side. So remember, make sure that you're not leaning forward with that top shoulder. 
Push the foot you're leaning away from down for that extra stretch. Inhale back to the center. Put the other hand in front. Keep the shoulders down, the arms next to your ears. Again, everything facing the front and leaning to the side, making sure you're not leaning to the front and twisting. Just nice straight opening the ribs, side stretch. Push the foot down, reach out through your head and hands. Inhale back upright and release. Feel the sides, feel your shoulders, circle them around a couple of times, releasing any tension. And then really stretch your spine apart for our twist. Arms out, palms up, hands above your shoulders, clasp your elbows. Stretch that spine and exhale into your twist. Another breath and exhale over. Take a breath. Just sink evenly into that position. Keep your weight on both feet as much as you can. And then stay in your twist as you work your way up, inhaling to the top and into the back bend. So remember, gentle on the low back when you're twisted. Always lift the heart, pull the elbows back, shoulders down, <clears throat> and breathe. Inhale up. Exhale around to the center, switch your arms around. And again, pull them back by your ears, stretch your spine apart, and turn to the other side. One more breath in, exhale over in the twist, and relax. Deepen as much or as little as your body needs today. Spread your toes out. Keep lengthening your spine. Shoulders toward your waist, even in the forward position, and then all the way up. And as you get to the top, lift your heart. Don't overwork your lower back. Elbows back, stretch your spine. And then inhale upright, exhale around to the center. Arms up into extended mountain pose. Sink evenly into your feet, spread the toes. Get the weight into the base of the toes, balls of the feet, and the heels evenly. Reach those fingertips up, shoulders down. Keep breathing. Feel that core activate and support your spine. Take a breath. Relax. And then swan dive forward, so arms out to the side, chest leading. Stretch it out halfway and drop into ragdoll. Pull in with the hands behind your legs a little more and get a good stretch on that back of your body. Hands back to the center, knees slightly bent and just wind slowly back all the way into mountain pose. Shoulders back and down as you get into your position, feeling that release through the shoulders and the neck. Take a breath. Arms out, palms to the ceiling, hands over your shoulders. Push one side up, come up on the opposite toes, lifting the heel so the side just stretches straight and flat. Exhale that side down, up on the other side. Get those ribs opening, stretch up through the fingers and your head. Release that. And the first side once more. Really open your ribs. Release. And the other side. And sink into both feet. Bring the arms out, palms up, hands overhead. Bring them together, looking at them. Swan dive forward. Stretch out halfway, everything straight, elbows, knees, and spine. Look at the floor. Stretch the crown and sitting bones away from each other. Pivot, turning to one side in a twist. So get those spines nice and open as you bring the arm one down and one right above it. Stretch it out. Exhale, pivot back. Keep those arms as close to straight across from each other as you can. As you get back to the center, 
stretch it out again and turn to the opposite side. So this is the whole spine twisting, one arm going down, the other one across. Take a breath, stretch it out, and pivot back parallel to the floor. Stretch it out again, and drop in your right thigh. Exhale, lift those sitting bones. Bring your arms out by your ears, bend your knees, squat into a chair position. So the knees go above your toes, not beyond. Sitting bones way behind you, spine straight, arms next to your ears, shoulders toward your waist. Stretch through the crown. Make with your fingertips. Come all the way up. Release your arms. And back into mountain pose. Take a breath. Feel that circulation through your body. Notice what's going on internally. Spread your toes for our balance. So choose your favorite balance foot. Make sure that knee is going towards your second toe, that everything is aligned. Ankle, knee, hip, shoulder. Core active, get that low back supported, shoulders back and down, round to the ceiling. And bring that other leg up. Remember, no crossing it over, so pull it in at the top of the thigh so you can just lift it straight up. Spread your toes, get a good base of support. When you're stable, circle your ankle. Both ways. You can pull that leg in further if you like, or keep it closer to the floor. And then when you're ready, flex and point a couple of times, straightening things out, and bring the foot back down. Sink into that foot, spread out, get that base of the toe heel supporting you evenly. Everything lined up on that side. Check your support through the lower back. Shoulders relaxing back and down, and bring your other foot up. And again, just as high as it wants to go, pull it in if you like, or keep it close to the floor. As you get stable, circle that ankle both ways. Take a breath. Sink evenly into your foot. And again, flex and point and straighten as you release. Back in mountain pose, go ahead and focus inward. Take a moment, feeling that breath. And bring your hands to your heart. Spread the toes. Inhale, hands toward the ceiling. Look at your thumbs as you pull them behind you, lifting your heart evenly into the feet, out through the crown and the fingers. Exhale, follow your hands to your heart. Pivot on all the way over. Drop in your rag doll. Just hang a moment. Lift those sitting bones. Stretch the back of your legs. Pull in a little further if you like with your hands behind your legs. And again, exhale. Arms to the center. Knees slightly bent. Work your way back slowly up. Bring those shoulders up, back, and down. A couple of times. Letting that shoulder area release. And then bring your arms across, up at shoulder level, palms toward the floor, palms toward the ceiling. Again, look overhead as you bring your hands together and into a back bend. Exhale, hands to your heart, back into mountain pose. Bring one arm up. And bring it all the way across your body. Touch the other shoulder. And straighten it out. Bring it back all the way across and down. Other arm up, shoulder level. Bring it all the way across. Touch your shoulder as much as you can. And again, straightening, bringing it back across. And down. And then bring both arms up. Bring them both across. Touch the shoulders. Straighten them out and back. Shoulder level. And then bring the other arm underneath this time as you bring them across and touch the shoulders. 
and release, bringing them back out and down. Circle those shoulders a couple of times. Breathe and relax. One arm out, palm to the ceiling. Bend the elbow, bring the fingertips straight up. Lift that whole arm with that elbow bent right across the top of your head. Hold the elbow with your opposite hand and turn the hand right straight back behind you and then drop it onto your shoulder. So the elbow is straight up. You can keep holding and pushing on that elbow, bringing it further back. Just slide the hand down along your shoulder, getting that whole shoulder area open a little bit more. Keep the core active, supporting your spine. Everything still mountain pose in the rest of your body. And then if you've got your hand up, release it. Bring the forearm up across your head, up to the ceiling, out and down. The only difference on the two sides, remember that's the yoga practice is noticing what your body is doing and telling you. Other side, arm out, palm up, bend the elbow, fingertips up toward the ceiling. Keep it there as you bring that arm across the top of your head. Hold the elbow, turn the hand to the back, down onto your shoulder. Be pulling that elbow back near your ear as you slide that hand straight down your shoulder and breathe. Just feel that shoulder opening up a little bit more. Take a breath. Exhale. And then release your second arm. Bring that forearm back across the top of your head. Straighten it all the way up. Out, palm to the floor, and down. And again, just feeling those shoulders. Circle them around again. And relax. And then <clears throat> bring, let's say, bring one arm out in front, palm toward the center, bend your elbow, bring those fingertips up toward the ceiling. Take your other arm out to the side, palm toward the floor. You're gonna do eagle arms, so swing that around and see if you can touch your palms together, otherwise touch the back of your hands. And then pull those hands in so the thumbs are by your nose. Drop the elbows down and in. Take a breath, exhale, push the elbows away, and then raise your hands as much as they'll go. So whole forearm is straight up toward the ceiling. Take a breath. Exhale, any tension across that back of your shoulders. And then release your arms and swing them around. And back down. And then bring your other arm out to the front, palm toward the center. Bend the elbow, straight fingertips up to the ceiling. Other arm out, palm down at your shoulder level and then swing it under and again see if you can touch the palms and bring the thumbs toward the nose remember you can keep the hand back of the hands if that palm connection doesn't work pull the elbows down and in feel those shoulders let them relax exhale tension and then push the elbows out and slightly lift those fingertips up toward the ceiling. Just as high as they want to go, remember, don't force it, just relax and let it go as much as it wants. Take a breath, relax those shoulders, and then release the arms and swing them a little bit to relax those shoulders. Circle them again and back into Mountain pose, hands to your heart. Look at your hands, bringing them toward the ceiling. Another back bend, lifting your heart, looking at your thumbs. Keep that core active. Exhale, pivot on over. Ragdoll, <clears throat> slide those hands up under your knees, on your shins. Straighten your elbows, knees, and spine. Stretch it out, lengthening. Bend your knees and come all the way down into child's pose. 
for our transition to the floor. Hips back on your heels, hands, palms up. Bring your forehead down toward the floor. Take a breath and just relax your shoulders. And inhale, sit back up and then slide off. Bring your legs out to the front into staff position. So remember, sitting bones a little behind you or you can put that padding under you and give yourself a little tilt. <clears throat> Press out through the bottoms of your feet. Stretch up through the crown. Keep those shoulders relaxing down. Circle them around a couple of times. We do a lot of shoulder work. And release. And then let's just work our hips a little bit. So bring the foot up to your upper thigh. Let the knee come down toward the floor. Remember, you can bring that leg over to the side or you can give yourself more padding behind you to help release that pelvis a little bit more. Keep the knee and toes on that front leg up and just let the knee come down. You can add weight with your hand, but don't push. Pushing makes resistance. Resistance left, lessens the stretch through your muscles. You wanna just let them relax and stretch and release. Feel that outside of your hip, let it relax. And then bring your foot and knee into your hands or pull it in with your arms wrapping around your leg and just move back and forth, letting that hip flexor or hip rotator <clears throat> get a little bit more circulation. So moving as much or as little as your body needs, you can go higher or closer and make it more intense if you love it, but just be gentle if you want. And then release that leg <clears throat> and feel the difference between the two sides. And we'll do the other side. Bring the foot up onto your thigh, and let the knee drop down. <clears throat> if this is your tight side, you may want to bring that leg over to the side or increase your padding behind you. Knee coming down <clears throat> with the weight of your hand if you'd like, but don't push it. Just let it let, relax, let it stretch. Breathe. Keep the knee and toes up on your other leg. Take a breath. Exhale, tension. And again, as that gets all the way down, let it relax, let it go to its maximum, and then just relax it some more. If it starts getting tense, tense or tight, back off a little bit. Let it do its own thing. Don't force it. And again, bring your Put a knee into your hands or wrapping your arms around. Pull that leg in as much as it wants to or as high as it wants to for our rotation through that hip joint. Just breathe, exhaling tension. And then <clears throat> release. Feel the sides of your hips a little bit more open. And we'll do our diving dolphin. So, Bring one foot to the inner thigh, knee out to the side, and then bring your heel around near your other hip. This hip will be up so that you can twist, stretch your spine apart, lengthening and turn to that first knee and then hands on the leg or the floor, either way. Pull those ribs in, tuck your chin, dive your forehead, exhale down under the water. And then <clears throat> rotate your face forward and lift up, inhaling to the sun and the sky. So a nice <clears throat> forward bend as you exhale down. A nice little back bend, lifting with your heart as you come up. My mic broke, is not cooperating today. <clears throat> exhale, and then inhale. Feel that whole spine working with you as you go through that range of motion. When you get to the top, pause, exhale, turning back to the center and releasing back into staff. Feel your spine, feel your core, feel your shoulders, and let's work our dolphins the other way. So foot up to the opposite thigh, knee out to the side, get centered and grounded. Bring the other heel back. Lift that hip so it's got room to twist your whole body. 
Stretch up through the spine, spine open. Exhale, turn toward that knee. <clears throat> Hands on the leg or the floor. Ribs coming back in, tuck that chin just gently. Stretch the back of your neck as you come down in that forward bend. And then lift slightly with the chin, not too much. You don't want to crunch the back of your neck as you lift in the back bend coming up. So forward bend, exhaling under the water, inhaling to the sun and the sky as you come up in a little back bend, rising to the sky. Follow your breath. <laughs> Let your whole spine do the work. Allowing your dolphin just to playfully move along. And then when you rise to the top this time, pause. Exhale, turning back to the center and release your legs into staff, bringing them to the end of the mat <laughs> so that we can roll onto our backs for our final relaxation. Shoulders down, palms up. Take a moment. Focus on your body. Just noticing where it's tense and tight. Let it go. Sink evenly into that surface beneath you. Move your jaw, chin around. Releasing all that tension through the shoulders and the neck. Scrunch your face. Exhale and let it go. Tighten your fists, tighten your arms, tighten your shoulders, get it really, really tight. Exhale, let it go. Just sink your whole upper body down. Tighten your feet, crunch your toes, tighten your legs all the way up to your hips and buttocks, tighten that upper body, tighten it. Exhale, let it go. Again, just angle your toes slightly toward each other and then let them relax. Turn your hands, palms up. Let those shoulders sink and relax. Take a breath. Soften your face. Soften your body. Let it just sink into that surface beneath you. Deep breath in. Exhale any tightness left anywhere in you and let it go. And just allow your body to sink with each exhalation as it grows heavy and deepens into that earth support. Breathe, releasing tightness, relaxing your muscles, letting your body soften and sink. And as your body sinks deep into the earth embrace, let thoughts of your body release from your awareness. It's the job of your mind to keep producing thoughts, but let them go as well. No need to remember the past or anticipate the future. No need to focus on the content of any thought coming to you. Just remember only to breathe, only to release, only to relax. Mind just drifting away without attention. Just to let your awareness release your body and your mind. Focus inward. Find that peace within. Deep and into it. And let everything go. Exhale and release. Deep in that inner awareness.
you have time to keep relaxing today. Take as much time as you have opportunity. If it's time to reactivate for the rest of your day, just be enjoying energy and awareness with the breath back to the room, to the moment, to your body. And as you begin breathing more fully, just begin moving your body gently, however feels right for you today. And then as you breathe more deeply and completely, just stretch your body however is good for you. And when you're ready for your day, I know you have a hug of appreciation, sitting bones toward your heels, heels toward your hips, and knees up toward your heart. Wrap your arms around however feels good for you today. Give yourself that appreciative yoga hug. Let your body know you appreciate its yoga work and the work your body does for you every day. And when you're ready to release, head and feet to the floor, roll over to the side, and sit back up, getting ready for whatever's ahead in your world today. Thanks for joining me.